I started off mixing two colors together, um, a green and a lighter green to make a better shade because I didn't want the like foresty green face paint that I had. Then I applied this all over uh, my face, neck and also the ears, making sure to really get in all the places and make it as opaque as I could so it would be the best base for the rest of the makeup. Then I took a sparkly white eyeshadow and I applied that in all the high points of my face as a highlighter to make the face less flat and more pop. And I made sure to smear it all around. I pack it on pretty thick for these because you want the highlight to be really dramatic because you know, you're an alien, it's space. I then decided to uh, make some like skull curvatures. So I added in some extra contouring along the temples just to mix it up so I didn't look as human. Then I outlined all of the teeth in white face paint and I had to go over this a couple times just because it didn't, it blended in with the green the first time. So, you know, give it a couple coats if it doesn't work. And these lines can be really messy too if you want. Uh, you're definitely going to go over this with two other colors so it doesn't matter how neat your lines are. You're pretty much just blocking out what the color is going to be and making sure that it's really opaque. I then took this red face paint and I put it in the center of the teeth to see so it was a mouth so you can see that it's uh, the inside of the mouth. This also doesn't have to be the neatest because you're going to go over it so that it looks like it has more dimension than it actually does. I took after this but I neglected to put it in um, a black face paint and I put that in the center uh, kind of along where all the teeth hit and I smudged that out to make it look like there was more depth to the teeth themselves, which you can kind of see at the bottom of this clip. And then taking the white face paint again, I made an outline of an eye and then I filled that in. And while I did this, uh, the paint actually smeared with the green and it actually, I quite liked it. It took um, on a more of a yellowish tinge to the paint, but it looked a lot more like an eye and less like a cartoony thing I drew. Then I started shading, um, applying a gray shadow to the top of the teeth and dragging that down. I thought this was the most important part um, of the whole makeup pretty much because it really brought it together because you want those teeth to look like they're indented, like they're inside of your face because the side mouths are like a big cutout in your face. So you have to be able to tell that there's skin hanging over them and that the teeth themselves are rounded and have actual shape to them and are not just flat. So, you know, feel free to use as much shadow as you want. This is uh, showing that side shaded, the other side is not shaded. Then I also shaded around the eye um, socket itself. Um, so like the lower lid and the upper lid. Then to make the eye look like it was embedded in my face, I took a green shadow and I applied it underneath the eye and above the eye to make it look puckered as if it was like resting inside of my face and not just laying on top. Then applying a green eyeshadow all over my eyes pretty messily. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're just showing that your eyeballs are there and sunken in. Then I used a black eyeshadow for the outer corner and into the crease just to provide some more depth and make it a little bit fancier. Then I took some white face paint on a small brush and I went underneath my waterline. Try really hard not to get face paint in your waterline. It's, it's not going to be nice. Um, but I took it and I put it underneath. This will make the eyes look bigger and kind of more puppy dog-ish because it was getting a little too 
ogre like for me and I wanted to keep it like oh it's a fantasy alien and then I took um, this white silvery eyeliner pencil which is good to go in your eye and I put that in the waterline then using uh, I think it's like a Maybelline liquid eyeliner I put that underneath um, the white line that I had just made so it looked like my lash line extended below where my natural lash line actually extended as well as filling in the like I guess the liquid eyeliner on the up third eye itself um, and dragging it down around the corner so it just it looked more saturated because the shadow wasn't as fluid. Then I made some really funky lashes on the eye itself. Um, you starting to use this one and then I switched to using a much more liquid one because it just flowed a lot better. And then I made some really big lashes on the top and some small lashes on the bottom and I went pretty crazy. I made them really big but I thought it'd really pull it together. Then I had to do something with my eyebrows. So I took some green face paint and I think a small angled brush. It's like a really old one. And I just filled in my brows and I made the edges towards the inner part of my nose like curved. Uh, and then I took some, I think this is just gr uh, not gray, green eyeshadow and I put it in little dots by the eyebrows. Then I outlined everything from the inside of the teeth to the outline of the mouth just because. I don't know, I really like outlining things. It just pulls it all together because some of my edges do get really blurry and it just helps to make everything nice and crisp and clean. And that's it, that's the tutorial. If you'd like, you could subscribe if you want to see more of these and leave a like if you feel like it.